Born into the illustrious Bajaj family, Sanjeev Bajaj learnt early on never to take anything for granted. I was fairly certain that I would work in Bajaj Auto. But my father was very clear, whoever is the best person to run this company will run this company. After his MBA from Harvard, Sanjeev Bajaj worked for 10 years at Bajaj Auto before deciding what it was that he wanted to build. Around the, the 2000s, you were at 8 9% growth rates. Now, when the economy grows at those kind of rates, financial services typically grows at two to three times that rate. We had limited presence already. We had started the two insurance companies, one with Allianz. Our finance business was essentially a captive financier for our scooter, motorcycle, and three-wheeler business. I hence saw the opportunity and elected to move into financial services. But the road ahead was filled with challenges. In the case of uh, Bajaj Finance, uh, we had a book size of 1500 crore. We had to go and build out a new business. A life insurance company went through a period of significant regulatory change. We enjoy being disruptive. We enjoy getting into the market, finding spaces where we think we can do something far better for our customers. For example, we had brought down our approval time. The last three years, it happens instantaneously. In less than 30 seconds, you get approval. Today, with consolidated revenues around 25,000 crore rupees, profits around 2,300 crore rupees, and a market cap of 1,85,000 crore rupees across listed companies, Bajaj FinServe is more than ready for exciting times ahead. Today, with technology focus, we're really targeting to make them the best digital financial services companies in this country. Machine learning is the next step. There are actually 40 different projects where we are working with tech, fintech, and short tech uh, startups, and you will see those in coming years. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sanjeev Bajaj.